Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to tune an adjustable air gun. More particularly the Avenge X in this video. And if the air gun is non-adjustable, the only way to tune it is just by finding the correct pellet weight or slug weight for it. Basically like a spring piston air gun. When tuning an adjustable air gun, it comes down to three scenarios. One being the pressure overpowering the hammer. Two being the pressure and the hammer are balanced out. And lastly, the hammer spring overpowering the pressure. And what causes these scenarios is the flow rate, the hammer spring tension, and the projectile weight itself. Most air gun regulators are not PSI regulators in air guns. They are what is called a flow regulator or flow control valve in the air pneumatic industry, which are designed to throttle the airflow through the whole system from the onboard reservoir, whether it's an air cylinder or a bottle. So what you need to do is set up the flow regulator perfectly. And by doing that, you need to fill the gun up the pressure above the designated set regulator pressure and leave it sit overnight and that way the air is the same temperature in the gun throughout and then you could set your regulator the next day so you don't get a fluctuation. You get a fluctuation or a really large creep if you don't do that. 1 to 200 psi is normal and this is a side effect of a flow regulator. Now you're probably thinking, well, James, how do you know that? Well, per definition of a flow regulator, when you unscrew it counterclockwise and the pressure increases, that is a flow regulator versus an actual PSI regulator where when you unscrew it, you decrease the pressure in the system. Next, let's talk about the hammer spring. So hammer spring obviously is what times the valve and how long it stays open. If the hammer spring is too strong, then you're going to waste a lot of air and notice accuracy problems downrange. And the only way to get around that is to use a really, really heavy projectile. Now, if your hammer spring and valve match, you should be able to shoot with the hammer spring on any setting, no problem if the flow rate is correct. Now, if the hammer spring is too weak for the system, you will get a valve lock or a bounce. And that's how it works. Once the right flow rate is found and the hammer spring tension is correct, again, you could turn the hammer spring counterclockwise to weaken or slow the velocity down for closer range shots, or you can turn it clockwise and actually push out your range farther if needed. Lastly, I want to talk about projectile weight. Now, with the Avenge X and the Avenger rifles themselves being around a medium power air gun, you should probably stick with that in the projectile instead of shooting something really light or something too heavy. So now, I'm going to show you my setup, and this is still out of the box the way it came to me from Pyramid Air, and it's around 2400 PSI on the reg and currently about two and a half turns in and only shooting 670 feet a second with the 25.4 FX 25 cal pellets. And that's what I have is the 25 caliber. So I'm gonna show you what this gun has got going on and then hopefully it'll diagnose your problems as well or get you with your rifle tuned. So let me get it set up on the bench. So I got my Avenge X25 on the bench here. Uh, I got the NV400 scope on there. I got my own moderator I designed on the end. Got some JSB FX254 pellets right here. Got the chronograph on. Now, this gun, the way it sits, I'm gonna go ahead and set the reg here. First shots of the day. You gotta do that, so you reset it. All right, now, let me show you here. And that's what this and that's what this gun has been shooting the whole time I've had it from Pyramid Air. 
and I've already taken it hunting. I've shot it 25 yards at almost one hole is literally, and at 50 yards it does pretty good. It's just not great. It's just not tuned perfectly. Fifty yards, six hundred seventy feet a second at the muzzle. Twenty-five four FX twenty-five cal at Vinjax. Some people would probably leave it, but the problem is I cannot get any more velocity out of it if I turn in the hammer spring, which I figured out it was at two and a half turns. So what that means is if I can't get any more hammer spring or velocity out of the hammer spring and I'm turning it in so I just turned it in like two or so times plus two and a half times already it's not going to change 600 see 84 200 9 so I'm going to go ahead and back this out so now that I know this and I know that the pressure or regulator is set that about 2400 psi as you can see, and that the transfer port adjustment is on low, and this gun is shooting that good at that low velocity at 25 and 50 yards, and I've already taken it hunting, again, it shoots great, but I just cannot get any more velocity out of it. So what I have to do is decrease the pressure. As you see, I'm over the regulator pressure, it's just too much pressure for the gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna degas a little bit off. Cause I know that 2400 is too much. I'm gonna go down to about 2000 Okay, 2000 or so right there. Tighten that up. Now I'm going to get you on the tripod here and shoot a group at 50 yards well actually let's go ahead and shoot one pellet to see if it increased so i turned the transfer port on high let's see what happens here 800 okay so what we figured out here is that the Air pressure was too much, so I'm around 2,000 PSI right now. I got the hammer spring all the way out, and I got the transfer port on high, and it's shooting around 830 feet a second. At 2,000 PSI, zero turns in on the hammer spring. Let's see what happens here. 50 yards. all right let's go down there and check it out i would have used the scope but the problem with the scope is it does not like a white target backboard and it just reflects off and it's really bad unless you're shooting at night Well, I'm happy with that. Now that is what I'm talking about. That is a nice and tight group, guys. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is refill it and make sure the regulator is set to 2000 PSI and do this again. Now, with that said, 
I'm going to go ahead and shoot it and then degas the gun and fill it up and set it to 2000 PSI overnight just to make sure. I got the uh, gun filled back up here. About 2000 PSI. Again, zero turns on the hammer spring because you got to follow the manual. It states that when you lower the regulator pressure, you got to lower the hammer spring. See if I can get some in the bowl. Right. Recorded at that time, my chronograph decided to cut out on me still, so we're still shooting around 8.30. Let's go down there and check it out. Now that is what I'm talking about, guys. Just making little adjustments out of a digital scope, I'll take it. Back-to-back -back results at that pressure, 20, about uh, 2,000 PSI, zero turns on the hammer spring. So, not complaining. And that's how you do it. So as you see me tune this gun with two groups in this video, Again, I've left the gun the same settings the whole time I've had it, and it's been over a week now, and I knew what this gun was doing ahead of time. So, with no hammer spring, or more hammer spring tension on it, it wasn't increasing velocity the way it was set up out of the box. What that means is the pressure is too much. You have to lower the pressure. So I had to decrease the fill pressure until I reset the reg to 2,000 PSI. So back to back you seen there it shot great through the scope that I was using so what I have to do now is degas the gun and set the reg to 2000 psi and I had to lower the hammer spring because I went down that's what the manual says so again that's how I figured it out and I sw I switched the transfer port to high because when I went down the regulator setting it decreased the velocity so that meant airflow so I had to increase the airflow to get it higher and again it's set on around 830 at the muzzle and it's shooting as long as I do my part less than half inch groups down here at 50 yards so at first an adjustable air gun can be you know really um, hard or I should say for some people that don't know how to do it and how to tune, you know, it could be frustrating. But you have to remember, like I was telling you, if your air pressure is too much, you need to decrease it. If the hammer spring and the pressure match, you get perfection. But if the hammer spring is too much over the air pressure, you get loss of accuracy too. So. Again, I hope this video helped you out, and I hope I showed you what I did. And by following the set rules by the manual and some added features that I do myself. So, you know, again, the gun shot great out of the box for what it was. And I just had to make some minor adjustments. As you can see here, it shot very, very well. I mean, 830 feet a second at 50 yards back-to-back -back groups, guys. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you got something out of this video on how to tune an adjustable air gun. Thanks again.